Hello there, Jose Rodriguez back again with our Q image series. This will be episode four, and in this episode, I will cover the now quite famous DFS sharpening filter. DFS stands for Deep Focus Sharpening. Now, we still have the good old fashioned unsharp mask available to us, and if we choose to use it, it is actually inferior. And I will hope to demonstrate that in this video. I hope it comes through on the actual video as you view it on YouTube. I have a photograph open, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on these faraway trees way back here behind the country house. And I'll right click, and this will then bring into focus this area here. Now I shot this with a kit lens, I believe it's a 18 to 70 Nikkor on my D3300. And as you can see, this is quite fuzzy. Now keep in mind, this is a very, very small section here that I am concentrating on. And I'm going to go ahead and apply regular unsharp mask. I'm going to go ahead and use a radius of two. And let's just pick, I don't know, 150. And you can see the results on here. This is highly magnified. So this is, you know, a lot a lot bigger this is like looking at the image with a magnifying glass and I'm going to go ahead and show you the difference between the two different algorithms now as you can see this kind of looks uh, rather bad it uh, doesn't have a lot of halo around it but you know on sharp mask is known to produce halos let's go ahead and switch over to the DFS and I want you to keep a close eye here as I switch I'll go ahead back and forth this is DFS and this is USM on sharp mask and you can see the difference I prefer the deep focus sharpening I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to this portion of the house and we'll see if we can see any drastic differences I and mean, you can see here very clearly how the edges are a lot more pronounced and so you kinda of lose a little bit of the brick detail let me go ahead and go to DFS watch watch here we go you see that so this is what I mean it's a very subtle but very different result in one that actually is quite positive in other words you get a better final print by using this sharpening procedure rather than the old-fashioned unsharp mask so unsharp mask as you probably know if you have an edge that's dark against a light color edge it will add a sort of like a light line in the dark side and the width of that line depends on the amount you set here okay so the higher the amount the higher the width of that line and of course on then the light side it creates a dark line so it's like a line of demarcation and that supposedly sort of visually gives you the appearance of sharpness where none may have existed the problem is as you increase your radius you increase the halo around those edges and it can become quite distracting we'll go ahead and uh, go here for instance and we'll add let's just make this three and really crank this up to like maybe 250 and now you can see the difference and I will go ahead and switch over of course this is more sharpening than you would ever want to introduce but you can see the difference no 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 fussiness on the edges no halo that would be, translate itself to a really bad halo if you had for example something dark a very thin dark line against a light background that would create one heck of a halo around it let's go ahead and go back to these branches we'll go back to unsharp mask and you can see the difference you can see the grain of the sky in other words the digital noise is greatly accentuated whereas on the deep focus sharpening it is not as accentuated now of course we would be looking at this at one percent this is this is a huge image this is 6016 by 4016 so this is quite a large image this will be a hundred percent this will be a hundred percent view if you were to actually view this full size now that's entirely acceptable and I'll go ahead and show you the difference between both sharpenings at 100% that is not good and this is a heck of a lot better but I think you can see the difference this is on sharp mask and deep focus there you go you can see a lot more detail you can make out the fine branches that you couldn't uh, possibly even consider making out on the regular sharpening algorithm the unsharp mask I'll give you another example before we say goodbye we you take a look right here see this little pole sticking out that's unsharp mask now let's go ahead and put it on deep focus and you should be able to see more detail that's actual detail there 
Let's go ahead and see if I can locate this. There it is. Again, remember, the, I'm, I'm using far too much radius on my example, but that's just so you can see the huge difference that it makes. We'll go ahead and go back. The edges are soft. And again, this is, you know, looking at uh, like 200% and now uh, the edges are sharp. All right. So I hope that gave you a good idea of what this filter can do for you. And this is only available through QImage Ultimate, folks. All right. So if you like this video, please like it. Please share. Don't forget to subscribe, please. And then we'll be back with the next installment pretty soon. So until the next time, happy printing. Bye-bye.